guys and welcome to my channel so this video is actually a very important video and I wanted to go ahead and film it and get it out to you guys but this video is all about cleaning your hair brushes which is super duper important so brushes collect a lot of stuff you guys know product builds up but on top of that you got dead skin cells in there you got dust in there odor starts to come Ooh, odor honey yes <laughs> basically your brushes are nasty you got some nasty brushes. Go ahead and look at it. I know it's nasty, but it's okay because I'm going to show you guys how to clean them in just a minute. If you don't know, even though you may rinse them out in the shower or something, you're still taking that all that dust and dead skin cells. And when you use that brush again, you're adding that to your clean hair. And it can sometimes ruin your wash day. So definitely make sure you are washing your hair brushes. I like to do this once a month. I recommend once a month. So if you guys um, are interested in seeing how I clean my brushes, just keep watching. All right, guys, these are my nasty brushes, and I'm going to show you guys how to get them nice and clean like this. So all you're going to need is shampoo, apple cider vinegar, water, a toothbrush, and a rat tail comb, and also, of course, dirty brushes. So like I said, I'm just showing you guys what my dirty brushes look like. So what you want to start off by doing is just removing any excess hair that you see in these brushes. As you can see, I'm getting it done with my hands right now, but you can also use your rat tail comb as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat this on all of my brushes. So if you have any wooden brushes like me, then you just want to take the comb and just rake through the brush just like this to get the hair out. It's a lot easier than using the rat tail part. So after you've removed all of the hair from your combs and your brushes, you just want to run some warm to hot water in the sink or a bowl or however you want to clean yours. I just wanted to do it in the sink and I'm running some really warm water just to make sure I'm sterilizing my brushes. And this is my apple cider vinegar. So I am spraying apple cider vinegar on each brush and comb just to start. It is acid so um, as you guys should know that that's a definitely a great cleanser to have something with some acetic in it so I'm just making sure that I spray all of my brushes with a little bit of apple cider vinegar and after I spray them of course I am putting them in the sink of hot water and I'm making sure that they're facing upwards just because I am going to be adding my shampoo in a minute oh, 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 oh. So now that all of your tools are added to some hot water, I'm using the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Shampoo, but you can use any shampoo you want to, boo. I just like this one and I had it on hand, so it's, it's whatever. So I'm just going to be adding that to my brushes. As you guys can see, I added it directly to every brush. And then I'm just going to massage that in. You want to make sure you know, get it in there, like, and then face it down so that that hot water can release any additional hair or additional products or any of that from your brushes so make sure that you do turn them you know the other way upside down okay so with my wooden brushes you don't want to submerge them in the water because it's wood of course so I'm just gonna shampoo them like I would do my normal hair and I'm taking this brush at first because I didn't have my toothbrush downstairs but honestly use your toothbrush baby don't use this don't don't do like him okay <laughs> be better than me so um, I'm just cleaning that and I also used a sponge to make sure that I clean the handles because of course that causes bacteria as well like all of this is dirt so you want to make sure that you're cleaning these as much as possible. Oh, oh, oh. So after my wooden brushes are clean, I just like to put them to the side because they're done, like they're done. So I let the other brushes sit in the water overnight. As you can see, that water is so nasty. So um, what you're doing, you're, you will see additional hair and stuff in your brushes. What the water did and the shampoo did was just break all of that up so that you can easily remove everything. Now this is where you're going to do some work. You're going to make sure you get your toothbrush and just make sure you're cleaning any excess 
product out of your brushes. As you can see, this one right here looks super white. It has a lot of product in there. Get that brush in there. You can see it just splatting all over my sink. It is nasty. But I, I'm rinsing and I'm just like going back with my toothbrush. And guys, get that product out of your brushes. You just have to. Because you don't want different products in your, if, you, if you're doing a wash day and you're using a specific line you don't want that other line carrying on to your wash day so this is pretty much it guys all of my brushes are clean now and i'm ready i'm ready for wash day number two three four until the next month so i hope you guys really like this video if you did give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next one bye